Today we're going to show you how to how to lubricate the oil light bronze bushing that is pressed into this pulley, um, and how to inspect your pulleys and make sure that they're in good working condition. So the first thing that you really want to look at is the groove of the shivs and pulleys. Okay, if your wire is not aligned properly, it will cut on the edge of the pulley, and it will actually wear this inside wall of the pulley and, and, uh, and, and take this nice blunt edge and turn it into a knife edge. If you look at your boat below this pulley you will see aluminum dust. If you wipe the inside of the hull it looks like you just struck, struck uh, silver because this is aluminum and so the shavings are going to come off as silver shavings. So you want to make sure that the wire is nestled nicely into the center line of the groove of the pulley. So taking a, a shiv part is, uh, is relatively easy. You've got cotter pins and so you take a leather man and you straighten out the legs of the cotter pin and once straight you can then pull the cotter pin out. Once the cotter pin's out you can push the pin out to the other side and hold on to the pin, okay? Now you want to make sure that that pin is not scored. Um, if it's an old bronze pin, you should replace it with stainless steel, okay? Uh, you shouldn't see any burrs or anything on the stainless steel pin. But after you've done that, your pulley will come out of its housing and you will be able to inspect the pulley and look at the oil light bronze bushing in the middle of the pulley. Now one of the things that we do is we put our part number in every single component. So if you have brass shift pins for example, you would want to call us and tell us what number is cast into your shiv housing. This is a C306 This one is a B838-3. That will tell us exactly how long this pin needs to be because it's critical that these cotter pins go into the shiv housing and lock into position in these cast-in nubs. So when you go to put your pulley back in, you're going to drop it in place. You're going to slide it in from one side. This is after you've cleaned and, and uh, put some oil on the oil light bronze bushing. You slide this into place so that the cotter pin is captive in these nubs that are cast in. You want the shiv to spin on the pin. You do not want the pin to spin in the housing. So that's why these are here. It's to lock the cotter pin which holds the shiv pin in place. Then you go to the other side and you put the cotter pin in on the other side. Push it all the way in and then bend over the tip of it. It doesn't have to be curled around or anything of that nature, but it, a bend uh, that's good enough so that it will not come out on its own. Something like this right here. But again, if you give us the part number, uh, we'll know what you're looking at and we can help you over the phone uh, in great detail. This is an idler system where the, it goes underneath your, your pedestal. Your wire and chain, your wire comes down, your, which is attached to the chain, and it runs around this pulley and it runs underneath this shift guard which holds the lazy wire, keeps it from coming out of the groove. So if you look at it from here, that's its job, is to hold that wire up in case it's not tensioned properly at the other end. Your chain would be up above this, and it would travel down through this hole, through this grommeted hole, back to your radial drive wheel. Cotter pins come out the exact same way as, as they did in the 6 inch shiv. You've got nubs that hold that cotter pin into position so that it's easy to bend the legs over. 
and, uh, and it prevents the pin from spinning in the housing. Again, if you have brass shift pins, you want to replace those immediately. The oil light bronze bushings can be easily oiled with a pump can of oil and you basically you want to get oil on both sides of the of the uh, pulley right into the where the oil light bronze bushing is. Always good to hold a rag under it so you don't just have dripping oil all over the place. But those oil light bronze bearings they, they, need, they really need to be lubricated. If they're not lubricated, these oil light bronze bushings can get abrasive and they can start eating at the shift pins. And so you really want to make sure that you are kind to your steering system and add some oil in here. That, that uh, oil light bronze bushing is a very porous bearing material and it will absorb oil. Uh, so you just pump it in and it'll suck it right up and really it'll take the friction out of your steering system but it'll also increase the life expectancy of it dramatically. We've also introduced uh, needle bearing shivs in the last few years where we simply slide a needle bearing in here and uh, you can see the needles. Needle bearings really want to be lubricated with super lube. So you want to take this pulley out, you want to push the the uh, needle bearing out. It's a cage needle bearing so it shouldn't be falling apart on you. You want to clean it up, get the old grease off, put some new grease on, slide it into position, add a little bit more grease and then put the pin through it.